What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got 10 NFL rookies that will definitely be pro bowlers in 2024. Um, my my prediction for this, you know what I'm saying? My 10, I got Jaden Daniels, Caleb Williams. Um, let me see. I'm gonna go with Nate Wiggins, Byron Murphy. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ricky Pearsall. I'm gonna go with Ricky Pearsall as well. Um Okay, we got we got five more spots. Got John Jonathan Brooks. I think it's gonna make a Pro Bowl this year if he. You know what I'm saying if the if the Panthers use him right. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Damn. Um, we got Marvin Harrison Jr. for sure. Um, Romo Dunze. Um, let's see. Um, Quinion Mitchell. And who 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 will be my tenth? Let's see. Um, fuck, bro. Damn. I'm gonna go Xavier Worthy. Fuck it. The NFL is extremely okay. well for young players to succeed. In. Now the Bears quarterback is favored to win Offensive Rookie of the Year, followed by Jaden Daniels of the Commanders and Cardinals receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. So let's take a look at 10 2024 rookies who may come out and earn Pro Bowl nods during their first seasons as pros. Okay. Caleb Williams, Caleb QB, Williams. Chicago. I mean, he's the main Bears. one. Caleb Williams comes into the NFL with a dazzling college career at USC, highlighted by him winning the Heisman Trophy in 2022 and his ability to keep a USC team that was largely unserious in the years leading up to his arrival in constant contention with his dual threat capabilities. While his last Axe. season on campus was a little bit disappointing as the team struggled a bit in 2023 and his play was relatively inconsistent, he remained the consensus first pick in this year's draft, even with other star quarterbacks like Jaden Daniels climbing up in the ranks. And thus, the Bears, recognizing his potential, drafted him to be their franchise quarterback. With his ability to make plays with both his arms and legs, and all the insane playmakers that Chicago has brought in to support him like DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, and Romo Dunze, and the investment that they've made in their offensive line, there is no doubt that he will have the opportunity to truly shine as a rookie. So much so that we believe we'll see him earn a Pro Bowl selection and maybe even Rookie of the Year honors in the process here in 2024. Marvin Bucks. Harrison Jr. Yes, sir. You are Arizona Cardinals. Marvin Harrison Jr. was a standout at Ohio State, known for his incredible route running and very reliable hands. And of course, the fact that his father was a Hall of Fame receiver in the NFL during his day. Harrison was taking yeah, his dog was pro. His dad was a board, dog, yo. Now joins a once electric offense on a team that is now in desperate need of a star receiver. Harrison Jr. should benefit from playing with a young and dynamic quarterback in Kyler Murray and a and and Marvin Harrison Jr. is pretty much like their their only really you no know saying elite target on this team. Now Trey McBride is really good. Don't get don't get me wrong. Greg Dorch is solid. We haven't really seen that much of Michael Wilson to you know what I'm saying. For for me to say how good he he truly is, so. that such a quarterback is able. But hopefully those guys can step up. Town, so like Marvin Harrison, Harrison Jr. doesn't to -to have to do everything which himself. Give him an opportunity to put up some pretty big counting numbers, maybe even bigger than his already impressive college resume. And just to put that into a bit of perspective, his last season in Columbus, he averaged over 120 receiving yards per game, totaling up to 1,211 and 14 touchdowns in 12 games. I think it's a that touchdown right machine. Preposterous. So needless Preposterous. to say, pretty high Yo, it's been forever since I heard that word. Achievements and his pedigree. Is he your worthy? Is worthy? You are? Kansas City. That was mine as well. I'm three for I'm three for three, for three right now. Speed and playmaking ability as a Texas Longhorn. He was a little bit raw and like the polish that some other wide receivers in the collegiate game had, but you can't teach that kind of speed that Worthy possesses. A 4.21 40 yard. And I 100 percent agree he's not gonna be next, Justin Ross, because Worthy can do everything that Justin Ross could which was catch the fucking ball like Absolutely and make plays insane, even by nfl standards now that he's with the kansas city chiefs he'll have a chance to really develop and he should be excited because well he is in the perfect system to maximize his talents i mean catching passes from patrick mahomes and learning from head coach andy reed worthy is That's going to become crazy. a key weapon in one of the league's most potent offenses and one that was desperately in need of a player with his ability to stretch the field his transition to the nfl will be seamless and the narrative is already building around his potential to make an immediate 
immediate impact and earn a trip to the Pro Bowl. Especially considering Coach Reed's ability to develop and enable his young wide receivers for success, and his offense, which is designed to create mismatches and exploit the strengths of speedsters like Worthy, under Reed's guidance, I think we'll see Worthy's route running improve and the young wide receiver gain a deeper understanding of NFL defenses. And of course, help to refine his game to become a more complete receiver. May sound crazy now, but we might be seeing Xavier Worthy turning into Tyree Kill 2.0 in Kansas City. Cooper DeGene, Who knows? CB, Cooper DeGene. Now, I had the uh, I had the other, you know what I'm saying, Eagles quarterback, which is Queen on Mitchell, but I'm not mad at Cooper DeGene at all. Cooper may have been a second round pick Cooper DeGene is, Iowa, bro, a steal Washington of a pick, bro. I don't know how he fell to the Eagles. And honestly, we could see him make a pretty huge impact during his rookie season. Enough so that he actually earns a Pro Bowl nod. DeGene earned a number of accolades in college for his ability to neutralize top receivers and built a reputation for being calm, cool, and collected while under pressure. A mindset and skill set that could translate pretty dang well to the NFL level. He was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles, too, which means that DeGene is stepping into a defense that values aggressive, smart play in the secondary. With the guidance of a strong defensive coaching staff and a talented supporting cast, DeGene is positioned to really excel and make a name for himself as one of the league's top rookies. With just the right amount of ball hawking, that could very easily turn into a Pro Bowl selection. Amarius Mims, OT, Mims. Cincinnati Bengals. Didn't he just get hurt, bro? <laughs> Then he he literally just got hurt like not too long ago. Amarius Mims was a dumb. Oh, let, let me let me see, bro, because I'm pretty sure I heard about that. Helping the Bulldogs secure back-to-back -back national championships during his time in Georgia, he regularly put on display his exceptional strength, technique, and consistency, making him one of the most sought-after offensive linemen in the 2024 NFL Draft. Well, now that he's with the Cincinnati Bengals, Mims is poised to make an immediate impact in the NFL. He'll be protecting one of the top signal colors in the game in Joe Burrow. Yeah, out for Mims, he's out for a few weeks with a pet injury is not just known for his clutch time performances but also his precision passing ability and also for being one of the quickest decision makers in the game which should help simplify his transition to the nfl ranks so look out for mims I, I like mims though and a potential i like mims selection brock bowers brock TV, bowers las vegas raiders yeah. during his time at uga brock bowers quickly built a reputation for being far and away the best pass catching tight end in the college game bowers but i just i just feel like the i just feel like the raiders are not going to really use him bro like i just i just i don't know why but i just feel like they're not gonna use him as much as they should athleticism versatility and ability to create hopefully they just line they line him up in the slot that, that's all i gotta say hopefully they line him up in the slot and he really proved to have a knack for coming through in very crucial moments. Bowers should serve as a much-needed shot in the arm for a Las Vegas Raiders offense that desperately needs to bolster its offensive unit in the aftermath of the disaster that was the Josh McDaniels era. The good news for Bowers is that the team Shit, seems to have a... Bro, the Raiders don't even know who their starting QB is going to be, so I don't I don't really feel comfortable about putting Brock Bowers as a pro bowler just yet. ...sense of purpose with Antonio Pierce now calling the shots. And Devontae Adams should most certainly open up a ton of opportunities for him to run over the middle and get open on those seam routes. You know, similar to the patterns that we've seen Travis Kelsey make a living off of in Kansas City. So, don't be surprised if the Raiders go to Bowers early and often, and be even less surprised if he gets selected as a pro bowler during his first season as a pro. Okay. Keon Coleman, Keon Coleman, Bar, Buffalo Bills. Okay. With Stephon Diggs unceremoniously getting shipped out of Buffalo, there are some huge shoes to fill in Western New York, and subsequently, a huge opportunity to put up some huge numbers. And well, that is exactly what the Bills and their diehard fans are hoping. Bro, that rookie I wanted Keon Coleman as a Ravens fan, but as a Ravens fan, Coleman so much, bro. At Florida State, with his big playability and physical style of play, he consistently made highlight reel catches and found ways to dominate. Like he's not the fastest, but strength and speed. Dude is still so good. Four and weighs in at 215 pounds, making him a physical specimen who can outmuscle defenders and win contested catches, which is an absolute nightmare matchup for any cornerback. He could very well play a very he's, he, like he's one of those receivers that you know what i'm saying doesn't have 40 times speed but he has game time speed another second round wide receiver selection dk metcalf has played for seattle in the past few years coleman also has the advantage so he's going to be the next dk metcalf which most certainly could that's awesome a statistical windfall that skyrockets
gets him to the top of the Pro Bowl voting race. Ed Garen Cooper, LB. Ed Garen Cooper, okay. He may Out of Texas a A&M. Pick, but there is a reason that the Green Bay Packers took Ed Garen Cooper 45th overall. Cooper was a tackling machine at Texas A&M. Facts. Known for his sideline to sideline speed, football IQ, and his ability <laughs> Come to on, now you ain't got to show that play. On a week -to -week basis. Joining a well Yo, what is this pace? himself in an ideal situation to showcase his talents and quickly establish himself as one of the top linebackers. Yeah, bro, the Packers, bro. Especially when Packers got a lot of dogs on defense. Offenses, cover ground quickly and make decisive tackles. Honestly, it's literally like they they literally have a lot of dogs on defense, bro. Javon Buller, Devontae Wyatt, and Quay Walker all played at Georgia. A key piece in Green Bay's defensive scheme. Cooper should be well positioned for a seamless transition to the NFL as a part of the Packers defense. As the combination of veteran players, the strategic acumen of the coaching staff, and the team's overall winning culture is essentially an incubator for young talent. All signs point to an impressive rookie season that could come with a Pro Bowl nod for Cooper. Jaden okay. Daniels, JD, Washington Commanders. Jaden Daniels enters the NFL with a standout college career at LSU as the second overall pick in the draft just behind the aforementioned Caleb Williams. Mm -hmm. While both quarterbacks are known for their abilities to make plays and they both won high legs, Daniels takes that playmaking ability to a whole nother level. During his time in yep. Baton Rouge, Daniels earned a reputation for his dynamic play style. And do not be surprised if he pulls a Lamar Jackson and wins the MVP his second season, bro. Regular I'm calling it right now. Seeing his ability to extend plays with his legs, gain huge chunks of yards, and stretch the field with the deep ball, making him one of the most exciting prospects in the 2024 draft. Facts. Despite Washington not having built as robust a roster around Daniels as one might have hoped, his playmaking abilities give him a unique edge. He will be able to make something out of nothing in a way. Like, but but for the work. love of God, bro, please put on some weight. Please bulk up a little bit because if you take those type of hits that you took in college in the NFL, bro, your career is going to get cut short, bro. I promise you. I promise you. These freak linebackers do not give a fuck. They're going to they're gonna lay you out in the middle of the field and just walk away, nigga. So you better put on some weight or at least learn how to slide and evade those big hits, gang. Because I would hate to see you get hurt. Can. The commanders may have struggled in recent years, but Daniel's arrival brings some hope and excitement. And that very well could breathe some new life into McLaurin and this offense. Tyler Guyton, OC, Tyler Guyton, Dallas Cowboys, okay. Known for his strength, technique, and consistency. I didn't really put any offensive linemen in my top 10 Pro Bowlers. Professional ranks with the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, I guess because it's not the flashiest pick, but. Draft, Guyton finds himself in an ideal situation to showcase his talents and quickly establish himself as one of the top offensive tackles in the league. I mean, there is a reason that the narrative around Guyton is one of immense potential and a belief that he can make an immediate impact. Enough so that he is well positioned to earn a Pro Bowl nod in his rookie season. While the Cowboys are far from a perfect organization in terms you of think? the future, there's no denying that their story you think, a bro? for developing a lead offensive lineman. Dallas has long been known for their strong offensive line play, and Guyton will have all yep. the opportunities to learn from some of the best in the business. The presence of experienced linemen Zach Martin. Martin will provide Guyton with invaluable mentorship and guidance as he transitions to the NFL. And that may even result in getting him a Pro Bowl nod in year one. But hey, which NFL rookie do you think is most likely to make the Pro Bowl? Who did we nail it with? Who do you think we were off the mark with? Let us know in the comment section below. Shit, off the mark with? Like like I said, Brock Bowers, bro. Like, he's an elite player, bro. Don't get me wrong. But it's just the whole QB situation that's going on. I just don't think that he's going to make the Pro Bowl. Because, they, like, right now, they don't even know who's going to start in Week 1 for the Raiders. So, that's why I didn't put him. I didn't put any of the off the linemen up there. You know what I'm saying? But if I did have to... You know what I'm saying? Put one offensive lineman, out of, at least out of the first round. You know what I'm saying? I would put, honestly, I would put Joe Alt, bro, making the Pro Bowl. You know what I'm saying? For the Chargers. Because, bro, they're going to definitely be a more run-focused offense now that they got Jim Harbaugh. They brought in some studs, you know what I'm saying, from Baltimore and Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins. Hopefully, um, J.K. can stay healthy and have a great breakout season. Him and Gus are going to be a great one-two punch, bro, just like they were in Baltimore when um, J.K. had his rookie season. But I, I feel like Joe Alt might have a chance to make the Pro Bowl. But I want to know what you guys think, though, down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I drop another banger video. Roll and roll with 500 subs. Let me get that for more banger and a reaction like this. Without further ado, I'm out. Gang!